And then? Directly I became engaged, his manner changed. Go on. There's that same look he had when Violet was going to leave him. It seems as if he were waiting. Waiting? For what? I don't know. I don't think. I'll explain to anybody how I know that I'm in danger. But all the things that happened to Meister before her death seem to be happening to me. Don't distress yourself. Tell me quite calmly what these things are. The builders. Those gypsies. I see. Music. Has your stepfather tried to make you move into another room? Yes. Yes. Into your sister's room? Yes. Is it nearer to his? It's next door. Any means of communication? No. Thank you. Now, what about these gypsies? Tell me about them. They've come back. I saw them yesterday. The same gypsies that were there a year ago. Have any of them come to the house? No. He was always very friendly with them. And I can't forget my sister's dying words. Banned and speckled. Banned and speckled. What about this music? I've heard it again. My sister heard it before her death. Last night I was forced to sleep in that room. Forced? Yes, forced. I was terrified. I sat by the window till I was chilled to bone. All I could hear was the growling of the dogs and the wind in the trees. From the window, I could see the gypsy's fire flickering in the distance. I kept my lamp going as long as I could. But at last it flickered out and I was left in the dark. Finally I was so cold I wrapped the eider down round me. I fancied I could smell the Indian cheroots. My stepfather always smokes them. Violet mentioned having noticed them. Suddenly I felt somebody was in the room. I called out. Who's there? Who's in my room? And then I heard that, that music. It ceased suddenly. I don't know what the danger was, but I only know it was very near me. I spent the rest of the night crouched in the corner near the window, as far from the bed as possible. In the morning, I caught the first train to London. Oh, Mr. Holmes, I'm terrified. Naturally. You've had enough to frighten anyone. Now, what was this music like? It was a soft, droning sound. It reminded me of India. India? Band. Gypsy. Smell a cheroot in the next room. Was your door fastened? Yes. Windows? Yes. Any access to the chimney? That's impossible. Ah. When can I see this place? Oh, you mustn't go there. If you saw either of you there. We can take care of ourselves. But you don't know him. You've never seen him in a range. I think we shall in a minute. Miss Norris? Mr. Holmes, if you should find me here. He won't. Come on, will you? Thank you. 
is justified. I thank you, sir, not to meddle in my affairs. Your no name, then? My name, sir, is Grimesby Ryder. Hmm. A healthy place and obviously very good for the lung. I thought of going there myself. Hmm. Almost a year ago. Who, uh, Stoke Manor, sir? Yes. He said it was healthier for me to remain in Baker Street. It certainly was. I'm not sure. I find such places usually suit me. Uh, I doubt it. It's still possible that I may make the visit. Uh, a return visit, sir? I beg your pardon. I believe you have already had a visit from my stepdaughter, Miss Helen Stoner. It is the first law of my profession, Dr. Rylett, never to answer questions. But you will answer me, sir! What do you mean, ma? Are you? Oh, what do you mean by interfering in my lawful affairs? If they're lawful, Dr. Rylett, no one is likely to interfere with them. Uh, Mr. Holmes, do you think that I appear a little, uh, hot-headed? No, no, no. How ever did you get that idea in your head? Uh, if I say a little rude... Robust, a trifle robust, nothing more. Uh, this young girl, my stepdaughter... She is here, sir. Yes, I know she's here. Do you hear me? Miss Helen, Dr. Watson has just come. Really? I let him in at the side door and took him up to your old room. And for me to Mr. Curry? Yes, sir. I'll do it for you. Thank you, Roger. Get that Indian bloke to see how to cross the ground. Stay safe with all them dogs to visit about. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of queer going on around here. All right. Good night, mate. Good night, mate. What makes you think that? Oh, one thing and another. Have you noticed anything curious? Yes, the white people keep on asking me questions. Holmes, you? No. I went and looked at the terms of your mother's will, if he asked me to. And he promised me he'd be stationed here, but there's no sign of it. I hope you won't be lost. The stepfather may be back at any moment now. Well, you never know what Holmes is going to do next. Examine the doctor's room, I think, Watson. Okay. Holmes? How long have you been here? Well, I've held down this job since four o'clock, thanks to the kindness of a Mr. Armitage. Now, Miss Stoner, I'd like to see your stepfather's room. Yes, but will it be quick? All right, I'll be all right. What's in here? I think my stepfather keeps his business letters in there. Oh, you know them? Well, I've been in it once before. I remember that was full of paper. Is there a cat in the house? No, but Luke's often sent up to this room. What do you make of that, Watson? Looks like an ordinary dog whip. And the wife looped up in that way. No, that's not so ordinary, is it?
This was your sister's bedroom? Yes, sir. Shut the door. Open Curly fastened like that last night? Yes. And the door locked? Yes. Have a look the other side of the bed, Watson. Behind these curtains. Coming up, Ryan? No, starting the door. This bell was hung, but it doesn't ring. Yes. Tell me, hunt. How long has this table been clamped to the floor? I didn't know it was. I've never tried to move it. How you smell your stepfather's cheroot in this room? I imagine it came from the corridor. If my deduction is correct, there's a ventilator behind that bell rope. Watson, go into the doctor's room. On the right wall, just beneath the beam, you'll see a picture, a hunting picture. Look behind it and see if there's any means of, of opening a flap in this wall from the other side. Right, right. This rope's a dummy. I'm from a hook. Watson, can you see into this room from the other side? Yes. But only the opposite wall. You can't see the bed. outside wall. Well, I finished. Are you sure? Who's that? It's Roger. The master. The master. Miss Fennett, you promised. Yes, yes, Roger. Quick, Mr. Holmes, we must go. All right, my dear. Dr. Watson. Stop. Tonight, when your stepfather's not to bed, as soon as quiet, show a light in your window. That's all right. We'll be outside. We'll get up to your room somehow. Quickly, Watson. What about you? I'm all right. I'm here as a workman. Get down the back stairs as quickly as you can. All right. All right, my dear. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Mr. 
room, sir. In her room. What time did she get back? About 12 o'clock, sir. Mm. No, 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 sir. Look at me. Did she go out again? No, sir. Did she send any message? No, sir. Look at me, Daniel. Did she send me message? <laughs> yes. Yes, she did. And where is it? No, it's, it's here. to my study. I want to speak to you. for the place to be in. These grounds aren't falling about. What about the gypsies? Oh, I nearly made a bad mistake there. The presence of those gypsies will put me off the scent. The signal? Exit. Signal to an accomplice. You can get in that room. You can carry death that leaves no trace. Nothing to arouse suspicion. Now I want you to lie on the bed. Oh, no, no. If you stay so. What? Take this torch.
back to his band. But it was a snow fight by the deadliest snake in India. He would have died within 10 seconds of being bitten. Bajabi Chow! Ectum! I should deduce you were going to a wedding. <laughs> At last I got you. For once in your life you're wrong. Wrong? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to a wedding. I just come from one. Then sir, was that the uncle this morning? I was afraid that might happen. Nonsense. Splendid thing. I'm just going to pay to see them all. Why don't you come? Not in my line, Watson. No, no. Besides, they thank me very nicely. Give them my congratulations. Or perhaps condolences. Rubbish. We all come to it, my dear fellow. <laughs> we all come to it. Goodbye. Not all, my dear Watson. Not all. <laughs> Have you added the details of Dr. Rylett's affair to the docket? Yes, sir. Put them with cases concluded. Yes, sir. 